Welcome back, MTG Joe here, and we are here for some more best of one historic brews. Uh, this is a Toski Monument deck. It is basically a mono white weenie deck, uh, leveraging off of Oketra's Monument. It's a three mana artifact. When it uh, makes your white creatures cost one less to cast. Whenever you cast a creature, you get to create a one one uh, warrior uh, with vigilance. And really what we're trying to do here is make a bunch of cheap creatures, play Toski, draw a bunch of cards, and just kind of spam that interaction. Um, so the way we're doing this is like just a bunch of one drops, uh, Dauntless Bodyguard, Healer's Hawk, Legion's Landing that can flip, uh, Selfless Savior, Thraven Inspector gets you clues, Stone Coil Serpent, then you have Clarion Spirit, so an easy way to cast multiple spells, Thraven Inspector, or Luminarch Aspirant makes our things big, and then four Toskis on the top end. So let's try this out, playing some casual magic today. We've run Is It Giants, we've run Dragons, we've run a whole bunch of cool brews today. So we'll see how this one fares. Uh, we do have Strict Saving coming out in a couple days. So if you do have any lists you'd like to see, do drop a comment on YouTube or just ping me on any of the socials. Try to play as many games as possible. Opponents on Kihira. I think we do this. Kihira's maybe elementals. Indeed, indeed. I think we hide the green right now. I will definitely trade with the Trailblazer here. So next turn, we're probably drawing a card. Ooh. New plan. Toski next turn draws us a bunch of cards. Mm. I'm going to do this because this is evasive. Tax is nice. Let's draw two cards here. These stone coils are low key great against their board state right now. So I can block Omnath. So we do need to attack with these. Kind of wish I played selfless first. Draw two cards. Um, so here, let's just go as wide as possible. If we had Clarion Spirit here, we would have gone like crazy wide. Toski might be the answer to these weenie strategies because you generally run out of gas pretty quick. Stone coils look like an all star this game. Four. 
four mana, kill your one one. Cool, cool. Um, so we're definitely playing you out. I think we're doing this. Flip this. Draw two cards. Um, I should have done this first. I think here, just protect the stone coil. Stone coils are basically our answer to winning. All right, opponent, you got the biggest Omnath that possible. Still not eight cards. They can get a little chippy here. Doesn't do much. They need to keep some stuff back. Let's go one, two, three. Honestly, we're probably just attacking with these three because they can block, say, like these can get in another three points of damage. I think we're just doing that. I guess I had lethal. Oh well. I don't think they have a way out of this. Opponent, are you not having fun? Mobile ready interface. All right, that worked out pretty good for the first game, I'm not gonna lie. No monument, no clarion spirit on two, but still just ran him down. Ultimate respect for the opponent, they went out on their own terms. Fainting goat. Sense. Easy keep. So we do want to hit a land in our first couple draws. So I can go this. So the plan is this into this into like, well, I guess we even worst case we have the two one drops. Scary Terry. They opt. I will trade here. So they're probably on like some is it spell style list. Could be Phoenix. 
So I'm shocking myself in here. I'm doing Clarion Spirit into Dauntless Bodyguard Protect the Spirit. Because then I can get them to try to protect my aspirant. I think we're fine doing this. Actually. We're just going to race them. These spirits have like added value later in the game. Oh, they do get to go Stormwing Entity now. So they get some value that way. turn here we need a toski we can toski we draw a bunch of cards um i think we're just protecting here They likely have burn, so I don't want to like overcommit anything. Yeah, they have the shock. Double Soul Scar, it's kind of annoying. So we need... Toski would be the best draw right now for us. Healer Hawk. Not bad, it'll gain us some life. Um, here. It's probably just this. Actually, it's probably dumb. Because if they shock it, then I lose the value. We want to keep these Clarion Spirits alive. With Dauntless, I'll block and then sack it for the Healer Hawk. So I get two turns of lifelink. Annoying. Just doing this now in case I hit a land. It also draws me more likely into a second spell for the turn.
Have a good one, Bobalek. Thanks for stopping by. They have another light up the stage. I'm going to be kind of annoyed. They've managed to rip three. Yeah, buddy. Um, so you, because they can brazen borrow or in, so I can block one of my flyers. Depending how they block, they might be dead. I could have probably just swung all in, but I'm being a little bit more cautious. They're dead based on these current blocks if they don't have a removal spell. Hit me a land, untap land. Perfect. Get two spirits. Should lock things up here. We went wide enough on them. Oh shit, trample. I think we're dead. Crash through, holy shit. Talk about clutch last card. Kudos to the opponent. We don't play that any different, I don't think. Not enough bounce. Clarion Spirit proving to be uh, a nice little addition there. Probably go Legion's Landing here. Especially if this is a more aggressive deck. They're mono blah. They like Golgari something. Golgari Stompy.
Tony can uh, chill with all these blood chief thirsts. I think we're just racing here. So I can flip for the legion's landing. Are you kidding me? Talk about just ripping like pure gas. So they can soak up the damage here, they can trade. Would like to find another creature here. Tell me they have extinction event. kind of silly if you're trying to race me. I'm gaining life. Just do this. Draw a card on our end step. Could have been Collected Company, but it seems kind of odd to play Stone Coil in a Collected Company deck, especially with the Blood Chiefs Thirst. Could be Gargaroth. If we just take the damage here. Could be a fight spell. See what we draw here. Flip our first fort, draw three. Your move opponent. They draw two here. Bye, friends. This deck's actually been pretty sweet. Pretty sweet. Opponent was on like green black counters. Looks good. We go Clarion Spirit here. So I'm a little worried, like super overextending. This is likely Jeskai Control. Nope, oh, it's Elementals. We can overextend, at least I think.
Cool Risen Reef, bro. I think we keep back the savior. Mind you, I probably would have been comfortable trading savior. Let's see what they target here. An easy protect. All right, opponent, what you got? Got a lot of elementals today. You got me. They got me, chat. Monument a little late there. Still overall pretty decent. Stuck sweet. You can definitely run them down. I think we might. You know what I should probably change? We should probably have one to two Shiziri or the uh, Kabira takedowns. So I think with this hand, I'm gonna go one, two, and then these potentially on three. Running 22 lands right now. Which for the number of one drops we have is probably a little too high. I can probably cut a land for Kabira takedown. This is Gruel. Our keeps too slow, especially if they go like burning tree drop. Wake up, opponent. Where are you? A 
What this hand didn't want was drawing two more lions. Squirrel player ever. A bit unfortunate. I think what we're going to do is this. And let's protect the Luminarch. Make this three. We're not blocking with this, so let's poke in. I can double block on Pelt Collector afterwards. I just want to get the Stone Coil Serpent big enough. Toski for the turn wouldn't be too bad. Oketra's Monument as well would be pretty nice just to make some tokens. Clarion Spirit. There's a couple good draws that we have. Need to be mindful of Ember Cleave. I think this is a fine trade on our part. Raven's not terrible. So we need to kind of... Problem is like they're more effective of just getting bigger creatures out. The way we win this matchup is by swarming, and we just weren't able to swarm. The Gallia let them refill their hand as well, which is nice for them. So now they have three new cards as opposed to just the mountain that they had. We block the Pelt Collector. Questing Beast is a problem. So we go Stone Coil on the Pelt Collector. Domri's Ambush. Magic for old guys, thank you for the raid. How's it going? How was the stream? Welcome Raiders, I'm MTG Joe. We are currently playing some Brews and Historic. What we have currently is a Selesnia, pretty ba much base white mono, or um, like, it's basically a weenie deck that you're playing for Toskis. Um, let's block here. Block here. 
Sock Protect. It's been doing pretty well so far, but we have flooded against Gruul and have died. So I can pull up the deck list. How was your stream magic for old guys? Well, I appreciate it. Don't know why my raid notification isn't on. Gotta take a look, that looks like it fell off. So this is basically One thing I needed to change was having Kabira take down. Um, so basically what this deck you're trying to do is with Clarion Spirit and Oketra's Monument is make a bunch of creatures and then use Toski to just draw a bunch of cards off it. Uh, so you have just like a bunch of like weenie one drop effects. Uh, normally myself, I play a lot of ranked uh, no, I don't do, I really do Brawl. I'm usually more Constructed Ladder, so usually pushing top 1200. We just played in the MIQ yesterday. Um, so I spent kind of a lot of a lot of effort just kind of playing into that. So just kind of doing some brews today. What kind of, do you generally do Brawl or what's your focus on the channel? Hagra's Mauling suggests some sort of aggressive slanted deck. Mono black control. Um, one thing we need to be mindful of is extinction event. Which we could see next turn, but can't do much around it. Languish is probably worse because it gets our Toski. All right, deck, we've, uh, we've drawn enough lands. I assure you that. We got the engine going, which is nice starting next turn. So if they don't have a sweeper next turn, we're in a really good spot because I get to basically draw upwards of three cards. Okay, so they have the languish. That's fine. Rather they use the languish now. That's unfortunate magic. Um... I think I'd rather do this for four. Actually, because I showed Languish. No, I think we want to bait out a counter here. Or another sweeper. Because the thing is, this is even, this is evening. So if they have Extinction Event, I don't want to play into that. Were you playing Brawl? Played him like a book. Okay. What are the chances they have three languishes in the top 11 cards? Actually, I should have probably held Toski until we can guarantee the card draw. They're at six mana, so we're probably gonna have to play around Ugin. Seven. Shadows. All right, deck, we can stop drawing lines. In case I draw another monument here. Nope, just more lands. All right, 
Let's hope for no Landugan. No Landugan. They keep it on top. That's scary. Could be like another Shadows Verdict. I mean, when you're playing a bunch of one drops, your opponent's hand being this isn't that great. Perfect answer. Not playing lions here, just in case we pretend like we have uh, collected company. Yeah, this is just, it's mono black control. It's a snow package. So they're playing like Ugin, blood in the snow. So they do, Get, oh, you know what? I should have played Thraben out because I could have drawn a card and potentially hit something meaningful there. Because I could have drawn Toski. I'm going to hold on to this. There's no sense of committing more into a sweeper here. Bye, friends. Well, I appreciate the, the raid. Good luck with the tournament. Hope it goes well for you, and you can uh, pick up that win for the day. Let's run one more. I like this deck. We just... You're not going to beat... Languish, Languish, Shadows, Verdict, Erebos' Intervention into... Um... Ugin when you draw 9 out of your like 22 lines. Sounds fine. Let's lead on healer. I'm probably going to lead on bodyguard. It puts the most pressure on early. Next turn we go branchway into healer hawk selfless savior. Have a good one. Opponent uh, disconnected. So the one downside with the deck is when you don't have your Toskis, you kind of fizzle out. Could be that you want like four legions landing. It's a nice follow up. Well, we can make this bigger I think just us going as wide as possible right now is beneficial. This could be like nine lives, could be some sort of control deck. Toski, Toski. Monument's pretty good. One.
one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Put him down to one next turn. I have a mix of odd and evens for extinction events. I think we're in a pretty good spot. This looks like the Abzan Yorian pile, just a six. Oh no, it is Abzan Yorian. They just didn't. They didn't net tech properly. They didn't move Yorian to the companion zone. So they can have Knight of Autumn here. Can gain him four life. Othakaya. So we could, depending on what they hit, we could blink some of their. That's fine. Would have liked a creature there. So extinction event. Leaves us with two power. That gains him some life. Well, if we can ever. draw a creature we're getting a bunch of them oh this is legendary ah shit I told myself this when I was building the deck put three in because they're legendary Doski, where are you, Squirrely? Wall of Blossoms. Bye, friend. All right, we're going to wrap this one up. Appreciate everyone stopping by today. Uh, if you want to catch any of my other content, I do have a YouTube channel. Uh, all the decks I play... Um, you can find on there we do a bunch of competitive content uh, just taking a break we raced up to mythic this month um, so just wanted to play some brews uh, we'll have the videos for the squirrel monument genesis dragons and is it giants for historic all up in the next couple days appreciate everyone for stopping by and uh, we'll catch you next time thanks for watching